and place your image beneath hair and you'll be able to color change to whatever color you'd like the clothing item. <laughs> So today I just wanted to walk you through the simplest way to place your design or image onto your mock-up and I'm going to show you how to do it for free. So go to Google, type in Photopea. This is a free alternative to Photoshop and it works almost identical to Photoshop. I actually use Photoshop but I know some people don't want to pay for Photoshop so that's why I'm making this video using Photopea. So Google Photopea and then click on this link here. It'll be photopia.com, and this is what you're gonna be looking for. So all you're gonna do is drag and drop your background image, which is your mock-up image, and then you're gonna come back to your design folder and drag and drop a design onto the image. Now you'll see that this layer landed on top. If this layer were to be moved beneath the background, then you'll see that it has disappeared because the background image is covering up the design, which is a transparent image. So your designs need to have a transparent background and that way you can see the photo coming through. Okay, so I'm gonna make sure I have this layer selected and then I'm gonna come back over here and I can drag this around. And notice the transform tools have disappeared. So come up here and click on this transform box here and that way you'll be able to see these transform tools on the edges. Because I wanna be able to shrink this down and center it where I would like it on the mock-up. Now this mock-up design is a 4500 by 5400 pixel image at 72 ppi up to 300 ppi is what you would want to use 72 would be the minimum that's pixels per inch so the quality needs to be between 72 at the minimum and 300 pixels per, per inch quality and then your 4500 pixels width and 5400 pixels height for sweatshirts and t-shirts hoodies etc you're generally going to be about two inches from the top of the shirt here so i might be a little high with this design and then you're going to be probably about an inch away from the edges if the picture is too big that's because you need to design it to where the picture is smaller inside of your frame here now you'll notice how unnatural this looks. And the great thing about a white mockup is you have this option over here. If you come over to the side, make sure you're selected on the design layer, and then come to this drop down, see where it says normal. We're gonna change this to multiply. And you'll notice the image got dark where the shades are. This gives it a much more natural look. It looks like it's actually printed on the image. But like I say, this only works with a white mockup. So I'm gonna show you what you do if you have a colored mockup. So we're gonna come over here where I've uploaded a color mockup. I'm going to drag another design on here. I'm gonna come over here and select multiply. And you'll notice that the image color changed, which isn't good because this is not what would actually print from the print provider. The actual print is going to look like this. So you can't use multiply on a colored mockup. That's why I like to use white mockups if I'm doing mockups this way, but there is an alternative that I'll show you. So since we can't use the multiply option, what we're going to do, make sure this layer is selected, we're gonna actually change the opacity. You can see that it looks very unnatural, but when you bring the opacity down, then it looks a lot more natural. And I'll show you with a few more examples we're going to come over here, click multiply to give it a natural look. And you can see that it looks very natural. The shading is coming through the image. This is why white mockups are so great. So these white mockup images are available on my squishy digital Etsy shop if you'd like to go purchase some. Anyway, there's one more really great thing I wanted to show you. So I'm coming in Photoshop. You can see it's very similar to Photopea. Same tools, same layout. But you'll notice this design is actually sitting underneath the hair. It's very difficult to do, but what I've done is I've actually masked out the shirt completely and masked it around the hair and then actually painted hair back in to make it look more realistic. And then I've added this color fill layer that allows me to change the color to whatever I'd like. So I can use a color picker and pick a color on a color chart if I had one here to exactly the color that I'm trying to sell. And then the image itself will be a smart file. And if you'd like to see how that works, I actually made a video on this previous to this video. I'll link it up in the corner and you'll be able to purchase these for a little bit more because they take a lot more work, but you'll be able to come in here and place your image beneath hair and you'll be able to color change to whatever color you'd like the clothing item to be. Okay, once you got your mock-up finished, you're gonna come up over here in the corner where it says File, 
and then you're going to come down to export as and you can export as a PNG, a JPEG and all of these other photo types. You can also save it as a PSD file. So if you wanted to open this up in Photoshop, you would still have your layers here and it would look very similar to this in Photoshop. Okay guys, thank you so much for watching. Let me know what you think about this. I really appreciate the comments. Definitely subscribe if you haven't. There's a lot of great information that I'm putting on this channel that's gonna help out a lot. You'll see from some of my other videos, there's a software that allows you to bulk edit and bulk upload your listings using AI tools and features, etc. And it just saves you thousands of hours. So check out those other videos. And again, I really appreciate you guys. Thanks for watching and we'll see you on the next one.